Welcome back to my channel, hi I'm Asimatics. happy to see you here and really interesting Olympia challenge today, a to the 4th power equal to a minus 1 to the 4th power, maybe this is challenge you've ever seen but a lot of students do this common mistake and I'm going to show you this mistake here in just one minute, so it will be really interesting. First of all let's rewrite our challenge, so we have a to the 4th power equal to a minus 1 a minus 1 to the fourth power. And a lot of students solve this question like that. They say, okay, we have fourth power on both sides, on the left, on the right hand side. So let's let's apply fourth root, for example, and we have something like a equal to a minus 1. And one part of student tell that the correct answer is something like one half. But this is not a great solution to this challenge. We should know a really great approach. And in this video, I'm going to fully explain you how we can solve it correctly and step by step. Because we forget about roots. Right here we have fourth power, so we have maybe four roots right here. So let's let's look at it. First of all, let's bring this expression from the right hand side to left hand side. So we have a to the fourth power minus a minus 1 to the fourth power, okay? So we just bring this expression from, from right to left. Okay, what are we going to do next? Right now let's write this a to the fourth power as, let's write it as a square to the power square. Okay, so I hope you understand this step. And this a minus 1 to the fourth power with the same logic. Let's write it as minus, so we have, mm, the, let's write these brackets, minus, and right here we have a minus 1 square, and we raise all of these to the power square, equal to, equal to 0. Okay. What are we going to do next? Of course, difference of squares, all known formula. We have, for example, x square minus y square. We can write it as, as x plus y. Yeah, someone write it like that, with the plus x minus y. Okay, and let's apply this formula right here. This is difference of squares. So let's apply this formula in this case. We have exactly the same thing. We have first uh, value square and the second expression we have, we have squared. So let's do that. So we have a long parenthesis with the, with the minus sign, with the plus sign, doesn't matter. I start with minus sign. Okay, so we have a square minus... Right here we have a minus 1 square, a minus 1 square, yeah, and we multiply it by the same thing with the plus sign, okay? So we have a square plus a minus 1, a minus 1 square, and equal to, equal to 0. Okay, so I hope you understand this step. I hope you understand this uh, formula right here. And right now, let's try to let's try to simplify this a little bit. So let's do this. So we know uh, this formula. This is a minus b square. So a square minus two ab minus b square. Okay. So we have first parentheses a square minus and this formula a square. So we just rate this to the power second. Yeah, a square minus two a and plus and plus one. And of course the second parenthesis, so we have a times a square plus a minus 1 square, so we have the same thing. So we have a square minus 2a and plus 1 and equal to equal to 0. Okay, let's look at it real real quick. So right here let's open our parenthesis with the minus sign and right here with the with the plus sign. Okay, so let's go right here. So let's do this. So let's rewrite it real quick. So we have a square minus a square plus 2a and minus minus 1 okay minus 1 and the second parenthesis we have we have right here a square plus a square yeah we have a square plus a square minus 2a and plus 1 equal to equal to 0 okay right now we have a square minus a square we can easily cancel this so in the left parenthesis we have 2a minus 1 and on the right parenthesis, we have a square plus a square. We have 2a square minus 2a and plus 1, which gives us which gives us 0. Right now, we have a product. Yeah, right here we have a product of two parentheses. It implies that one parenthesis is equal to 0, so the first parenthesis is equal to 0, and the second parenthesis is equal to 0. Let's start with the second parenthesis. We have 2a square minus 2a plus 1. So we have 2a square minus 2a and plus 1 gives us 0. Right now let's find discriminant real quick. Everyone know about this coefficient right here. We have a equal to 2, b equal to minus 2 and c equal to and c equal to 1. Okay, so let's find our formula. Let's uh, apply, let's uh, put these values inside our formula. So we have a second and third because right here we have a first. Okay, so equal to, so we have minus b, so we have minus minus 2 plus minus square root b square so minus 2 square minus 4 times 2 and times 1 okay minus 4ac 
and divide all of these by 2a. In our case, 2 times 2 equal to equal to 4. So as a result, we have our a second and third equal to right here minus minus we have plus plus minus right here we have uh, 4 minus we have right here looks like 8. So as a result, we have 4 minus 8 so square root of minus 4 and divide all of these by by 4. Okay, we can easily simplify this a little bit because our um, our square root of minus 4 does not exist. So right here we have we have complex roots right here. So let's simplify this a little bit. So equal to let's continue right here. Okay, so let's continue right here. So right here we have 2 plus minus. So let's write it. So we have 2. I want to separate our solutions here. So right here we have 2 plus minus square root of minus 1 times 4. Okay, let's write it like that and all over all over 4 which gives us right here so we have square root of minus 1 equal to i so we have we can write it as 2 plus minus square root of minus 1 times square root of of 4 okay over 4 and as a result right here we have i so 2 plus minus 2 plus minus square root of 4 equal to 2 so 2 plus minus 2i and all over all over 4 let's divide both both uh, elements by 4 and our correct answer is 1 plus minus i over over 2. Okay, and this is our second and third root, but what about the first root? Right here we have our, our equations of 2a minus 1 equal to 0, 2a equal to 1, and a equal to 1 over 1 over 2, a equal to 1 half. Okay, this is our a first, this is our a second and third, so let's write our full our full solution, but I don't have enough space, but let's do this right here. Okay, so our answer. Our answer, x first equal to one half, x second equal to one plus i over two, and x third equal to one minus i over over two. This is our solution to our Question. This is a full solution to this question. We find all possible, all possible roots right here to our challenge. So this is our answer. This is our our Olympiad Olympiad challenge. So we hope you understand my explanation. I hope you learned something new, and I hope you you learn something new, of course, because this is a great a tricky challenge. A lot of students take fourth root on both sides. A lot of students solve this question like that. For example, imagine we have a to the fourth equal to a minus one. To the fourth power. A lot of students take fourth root on both sides. They say, okay, right here, fourth root, so fourth root of a to the fourth power, and equal to fourth root of a minus one to the fourth power, a minus one to the fourth power. Okay, something like that. And then the, these students write this question like that. They say, okay, right here we can easily cancel this. So we have a equal to, right here we have the same thing, equal to a minus 1, they write like that, and from here we have we have mm, really weird thing, because right here we can't find our root, this is very bad, very bad solution, you should put, if you want to do this, you should put absolute value right here, something like that, you, you can easily find this root, but not complex root, you find real root, but what about complex root, complex roots, right here, so this is very tricky, tricky challenge, a lot of students forget about it, a lot of students don't know how can we solve this challenge and a lot of students take this first root they solve this question absolutely randomly so forget about this about this solution so let's go through the steps real quick first of all uh, bring them from the right to left then difference of squares and two parentheses first parentheses and the second parentheses okay so right now yeah i hope you understand this uh, this question this is really great a challenge for us because a lot of students forget about this uh, solution right here a lot of students don't know how can we solve it correctly a lot of students take fourth root on both sides which is really bad mistake in terms of math and i hope you understand this explanation i hope you learn something new in this challenge i hope you understand why we have three roots not only one half which which gives you a lot of information in terms of math because this is really great, really great challenge for us. So definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. If you need help with any of these classes, I have a lot of videos. So with that being said, I wish you all the best in your adventures, in your mathematic adventure. I hope you like math. I hope you love solving uh, challenges every day. And wish you all the best. See you in the next videos. And if this video is helpful in any way, don't forget to like and subscribe. And that definitely helped me out for this particular video. It helps me a lot. And also thank you for your support, for your support to my channel. I, it inspires me a lot. It uh, uh, indicate that you 
like my videos and i really want to say thank you for your for your support it really helps me a lot and see you in the next videos have a great day and take care of yourself